I now know that I have a voice. My voice is important and I'm gonna make sure it's heard. We are so honored to be a Ms. Foundation grantee. I mean, the legacy of this foundation and the work that it has done in communities um, all across this country is just phenomenal. And so to be a part of that family is just amazing for us. But, you know, Sister Song, we are nearly 20 years old and we have an extremely long legacy of doing amazing work with women of color. Um, but we underwent our first transition in 2012 that really shook the organization, and like it would with any organization when you go through a massive leadership transition. And, you know, in those particular instances, you know, there are people who step up to the plate for you and there are some people who just kind of wait to kind of see where things land. But the Miss Foundation is one of those fearless funding partners that actually stepped to the plate um, with us and for us to make sure that we um, had what we needed to be able to make it through that transition and invested in us in a really um, in a really difficult time with our transition, um, with, within our leadership, within our programmatic structure, they were right there with us at every turn that we were making with our transition. One of the things that I appreciate about Ms. is that there is a very broad understanding um, of what it means to try and change our childcare system and, and a desire to put at the center our most vulnerable communities, our workers, that can't access gains in childcare and labor protection. Some of our staff have been able to go through the strength in numbers convening process and educational process. That's really critical because my staff is made up of mostly Latin immigrant women um, who don't have access to a lot of um, training or professional development opportunities. And as a, uh, an organization, we can't always provide that to them. So to have a training program specifically focused on how we can improve our grassroots fundraising, bring our board into that conversation. That was great. And Ms. always makes sure to make those spaces accessible through childcare and translation. Very few other funders do that. Um, so that's been critical. Um, and most recently, my other co-director, Juana Flores, um, is participating in the Public Voices Fellowship. Um, and she came back from her first convening there saying, I now know that I have a voice. My voice is important and I'm gonna make sure it's heard. Uh, a big part for us is capacity building because when I was hired I was the only employee of our organization and now we have an intern and now we're looking for an executive director and all of that is happening I feel because in large part because of the Ms. Foundation and the guidance that we've received from them. You know, like they are wonderful mentors. The Ms. Foundation has been a, a really strong, I would say a partner, even though it absolutely is a funding relationship, that they have truly been, I think, a strong partner to Kolod over the many years. And that um, since I've been involved with Kolod officially on staff, I learned right away that uh, they were not only one of our longest funders, but that they were also one of our most supportive funders. And I think what has been exciting is that I've been able to be really in um, real time a part of experiencing the support that they've given us um, in good times and in hard times, in particular as we've weathered leadership transitions or just had some hard moments, I think, um, as an organization. I always know that uh, the Ms. Foundation is really there to support us, that it, they, you know, not only financially, but I think to make sure that we're really whole as we're doing our work.